Southwest Dangling. I'm your host, Tony Casey. Today we are out here at Ute Lake in New Mexico, and it is a lake I have never been to before. So my goal is just to catch some fish so I consider them my first Ute fish. Um, hopefully we can cover a variety of species so, you know, I can get my first Ute largemouth, smallmouth, like all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, we found this little pocket over here that we're gonna fish and probably explore some new coves. But yeah, it should be an exciting episode, guys. Stay tuned, it should be a lot of fun. Alright guys, I just hooked my first ever fish from Ute. It's a little smallmouth and I was just using the kill shot in this little backwater area. And I could actually see him hit, that's how clear the water is. But yeah, there he is right there. Gorgeous little smallmouth. Ooh, my first ever fish from Ute. Gotta give him a little smooch. Let's get him back. Alright guys, my second fish at you ever. This time it's a largemouth. Um, I saw a bigger one following him, so I'm gonna put on the GoPro, see if I can get that one. But oh no, nice tubby little fish. I mean, he's pretty small, but still fun to catch. Let's see if we can get that bigger one. Alright guys, so there are so many bluegill here that I'm going with a bluegill rig because some of them are huge. So I got this little curly tail on the bottom and this shrimp fly, I think. I'll have to look up what it is, but I got it from the panfish box, the mystery tackle box. But we'll see if that works. Okay guys, big bluegill or sunfish. Oh, I think it's a sunfish. Lift them. Ooh, that is huge. I'm actually going to weigh that one. Oh, I hit on the fly right there. Okay, that's a nice fish. Get him out. Bam. Oh, ah, I'm hooked. Hooked myself. Right there. Mm, yep, that's oh, going to hurt. That's the struggle of using two hook rigs. But honestly, nice bluegill. I can't complain. Oop. Yep, I'm bleeding. That's pretty though. Sweet. Yeah, I think that's a bluegill. If you guys know differently, tell me. He doesn't have the stripes. It might be a pumpkin seed. I'm gonna have to wash out my hand. But let's get a weight. Just out of curiosity. Because <laughs> he's pretty large. Twenty-nine. Point twenty-nine. All right, pretty fish. Don't know if it was worth the hook, but we'll see. I'll have to clean that out and hopefully get another one. Got a bass right there. He's pretty nice. Got to tire him out. Oh, it's a nice smallie. On the drop shot, let's see if I can land him. Get in the net. There we go. Whew. That's not a bad one, I guess. Let's see. I mean, we've caught bigger, but not bad. I mean, a step up from the little bluegill, I guess. Nice. Let's take the drop shot out. When you're using the drop shot, the bass, like, you can feel the nibbles they take. But, um... In my experience, like, once you start feeling them, then set the hook, because chances are they already have it in their mouth. But there he is. That's a cute little one. Second you smallmouth ever. Those are pretty nice, healthy fish. Let's get him back. Alright guys, that's gonna have to wrap it up. Um, I'm sorry it wasn't a very long video. We didn't have too much luck, but I did get um, a few largemouth, one smallie, and a bluegill. And, I mean, those are my first fish ever at Ute, so that's pretty awesome. It's always great to check out new lakes. I'm definitely going to come here again. I will say, like, conscious a little bit more, but this is definitely an awesome lake. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. I hope you guys had a fun time watching, and we'll see you later. Toodles!